welcome you once again to Ask Endocrinology channel and uh, today we'll be talking about thyroid stone and why you should know about this disease. Thyroid stone it's a rare complication of overactive thyroid that can occur when your overactive thyroid is not well treated or is not treated at all. And there are triggers. There are many things that can trigger your overactive thyroid that you already have to become worse. Most common one or that we have seen is the fact that when you stop taking your anti-thyroid medications, when you abruptly stop for days and like that, or you run out of your medication and you're unable to refill this medication. Uh, it can make your overactive thyroid, your underlying overactive thyroid to go into a storm. And the other things that could trigger it is infection. If you have a surgery that is thyroid surgery or non-thyroid surgery, if you have a trauma, if you are under very acute illness and admitted in the hospital, or you have, uh, uh, you're giving birth. You know, many or any of these things can trigger your thyroid, your underlying overactive thyroid to go into storm. Now, why should you know about this problem? It is important that you know about this because it is an emergency. It is not something you're going to sit at home and watch yourself in this condition. It is an emergency because it is a life-threatening condition. So we're going to learn about what symptoms you should look out for. How do you know that this is thyroid storm and how do we treat it? So with me, as usual, is Dr. Hope. And she's going to talk to us more about the symptoms, the diagnosis, and how do we treat it. Over to you, Dr. Hope. Good day and welcome again so i am going to continue uh talking about thyroid storm um, as we look at the symptoms of thyroid storm so many of the symptoms of thyroid storm can be seen in hyperthyroidism or overactive thyroid itself however it's an extreme uh version of these symptoms so what are some of the symptoms of thyroid storm fever um, usually a high fever, um, marked increased heart rate, heart failure, tremors, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, restlessness or agitation can be seen in thyroid storm and uh, delirium or even coma. So severe uh, symptoms that can be life-threatening are seen in thyroid storm. So how do we actually make this diagnosis? So uh, the doctors use a scale called the birch watowski scale to really evaluate whether the patient is in thyroid storm. And this scale takes into account several factors. It takes into account whether there was a precipitating history or a precipitating event, like Dr. Grace mentioned, you know, infection, if the patient had surgery or recently giving birth, um, uh, something that, or not even taking the medication, stopping the medications. So a precipitating event um, can be one of the significant factors that leads into thyroid storm. The, the high temperature, as we mentioned, the, the effects on the brain, um, the GI side effects, such as the diarrhea, tachycardia, the heart failure, and something called atrial fibrillation or abnormal heart rhythm. Those are all factors that are evaluated to determine whether a patient is in thyroid storm or not. And based on this scale, um, we decide whether the patient needs to be treated um, for thyroid storm. So once we make the diagnosis, how is it treated? Uh, so again, as we mentioned earlier, this is a, can be a life-threatening emergency. So all patients with thyroid storm need to be admitted to the hospital. Um, and once they're admitted to the hospital, their supportive measures, um, including you know, helping to control heart rate and uh, 
making sure the temperature is controlled, um, and also maybe if they need a, a, a cooling blanket to bring down the temperature in addition to medications like Tylenol and other things. But the mainstay medications that we use to treat uh, thyroid storm are the something called thionamides, which are medications that are normally used to treat hyperthyroidism called uh, methimazole and PTU. Um, PTU or propylthiouracil that is used only in two um, situations. One of them is thyroid storm and the other one is the first trimester of the pregnancy. Iodine, patients with thyroid storm need uh, iodine to help stop the release of the thyroid hormone. Steroids, steroids are given uh, for a short period of time, again, to decrease uh, the release of the thyroid hormone. Uh, beta blockers, so like metoprolol, um, but mostly uh, propranolol is one of the medications that is used to treat thyroid storm. And it can, the reason it's used is because it also has an effect on the thyroid itself as in addition to slowing the heart rate. Uh, so those are some of the important treatments that we use for thyroid storm. And again, if you find that you do have these symptoms or you're concerned that you may have un, uh, severely untreated hyperthyroidism. It could be thyroid storm, and it is. It can be an emergency. It is an emergency if it is thyroid storm. Back to you, Dr. Grace. Yeah, that was splendid. You've heard it all. So thyroid storm can happen if you have overactive thyroid, mm -hmm. and don't hesitate to seek help. And doesn't mean that if you have overactive thyroid, you you already have thyroid storm. No. It's a very rare complication where it can happen. So just be careful and be uh, compliant. Make sure you take your medication every day as prescribed. And uh, remember, the more you know, the better, the better you, are. you are. Thank you for watching us today. Please like, share, and comment below. Let us know what your thoughts are on this. Thank you. And, and please subscribe. Thank oh, you. Yes, and please subscribe. <laughs>